Welcome back. We're in our last segment with uh, Drs. Lime Rivaldez and Jaja Rivaldez. And we were now talking about how the child, uh, as, a, as an institution, uh, is helping form virtues to, uh, with the children so that they can become productive members of society, especially in how preparing them to be wealth builders. No? Um, Lime Jaja, uh, let's talk about um, a few key virtues. No? Can you give us some anecdotes uh, about these virtues and how you know how they can how our parents who are watching can relate and easily you say yes this is important and this is relevant for us. Well, in the late '90s when we were still new to Edit Child, we had this participant who is. Uh, in his, in his senior years already, he had two children in college at that time, yeah. and then he had a, a grade school and a high school. So he student. joined late. Yes. Yeah, he yes. joined. But but in that batch, most of them are all the same age. Oh, okay. It was it was good because they were talking about the same age, although we were young younger the facilitators, but they were of the same ages of children. So this one is a uh, he was a businessman, quite busy, yeah. and then. Um, the, the peculiar thing in their, in their house is that they had more TVs than people. <laughs> and then they had more TVs than rooms. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's a common thing now. Yeah, I, yeah. I think that's not uncommon. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, so when he comes home in the late afternoon, or early evening, what he, when he arrives there, he sees his children busy watching TV, different shows, one different TV shows. each. And then in their own room spa. Their own room spa. And then the, the sad thing was that when they have dinner, they eat, they have dinner together, but they don't talk much because they're all facing the television. A very big television by the dining room. By the dining room. So everybody's watching television while having dinner. And then in the course of the child, in the course of the other child sessions we had for the past uh, 10 sessions, something like that, towards the end, he gave us this anecdote, his experience, because we talked about television. Yes. And he said, you know what I did last week? I told my children to lay off with the TV. Nobody will watch TV and up to this time, so he made a schedule already. He put in yeah. rules, he put in something like that. Rules, yeah. And, well, the children followed also. The nice thing was that when he arrived in the house one day, he saw his children waiting for him, and they started talking. He was so amazed because he has not talked to his children for a while, for a long time. <laughs> he, he enjoyed it so much that the following days, he made sure that he came home earlier than usual. Because he was looking forward to it. looking forward to the conversation. Wow. Can and he shared imagine? it with us. Imagine that. Yeah. What families are missing, no? So mm -hmm. with that, actually, he was teaching his children how to control themselves with television, temperance, huh? the virtue of temperance, even himself. He, he, has, he has to control his urge to watch TV because he cannot make rules and break them also. Wonderful. Another anecdote, another virtue? Uh, in EduChild, one of the very important uh, tips that we give our parents is make sure you date your children one-on-one. -on -one. If you have four, so in a month's time, you have maybe a child per week to date because there you can have very earnest, very personal conversations with your child and you learn a lot. So with this uh, dating, uh, we're talking about her daughter, the eldest in particular. When she was uh, six, seven years old, Lime would date with her. And then during that date, he gives her a budget. Okay, okay. let's say. Uh, 150 pesos. We'll use 150 pesos for our day tonight or if it's afternoon if it's a weekend. So, okay, what do we do with 150 pesos? Where do you want to go? Malit down. And then suppose he asks, okay, okay. easy to break for oh, 300 or something. Anyway, yeah, something like the that. point yeah. is, uh, what do you want to do? Uh, let's watch a movie. Okay, she writes it down in a piece of paper how much it will cost to watch a movie. It's there. Do you still have enough money? Yeah. You want to eat? Okay, what, what, what do you want to do? It has to be cheap, Dad, because we, have, we don't have much money for it. So those things, what else do you want? Can I buy a book? 
the last year, can I buy a book because she loves to read. So she has freedom to use yes, whatever it is. Oh, she can choose huh? what she wants to do, no? so where she wants to go, where she wants to eat. If she has Excel, what else she wants to buy, whether it's frivolous or something for school, it's up to her. She's exercising her independence yes. already and exercising the ability to budget. Budget, yes. decision making, yes. And decision making. Yes, oh, a children level. She's a child and like all other children, they want to buy the universe if they can, <laughs> no? But she wants to buy many things, but because she's within the budget, She's, she'll say, that I wanted to buy this book, but then it's going to be beyond what we have. I so can, can buy we, it next time. Can we just have candy na lang for our date? <laughs> candy na lang for our date? <laughs> In one date, she, she wanted to buy this book, but the budget was not, not in, enough. Uh, uh -huh. We spent the whole afternoon sitting down in the, in the bookstore. Uh -huh. She read it there. She read it there. <laughs> So I was reading something else also beside her. So oh. even oh, the that, things, that yeah. virtue of she would delay, you know, of what she wanted to get, uh, delay gratification, gratification, and, and she's prioritizing. able to prioritize things. Oh, so many things are coming out mm -hmm. from that simple, simple, uh, date, simple, simple dating uh, mm -hmm. exercise, no? Yes, and it's uh, wonderful. So how long have you been? You continue to do that until now? Sadly. <laughs> When, when I visit her in Manila, it's well, well, ah, okay. two of them are now in Manila, so okay. they have monthly visits. And I'm sure uh, because they they love it so much, they have learned, picked up some, so many things from that. I'm sure mm -hmm. they're going to pass it on also to their own families when they ah, eventually yeah, have so. their own families. It's, right? it's a very good practice. We pray for that. <laughs> it's a very good practice. And, uh, let's talk about uh, one more virtue on uh, that's connected to nation building. That yeah. could help us become better citizens. I attended this um, convention two weeks ago with Dr. Bernie Villegas as a speaker, and one question from the from the floor was, "How do we teach our children?" It was it was a teacher asking him, yeah. "How do we teach our children to be magnanimous and patriotic?" Love our country. Yes. Mm -hmm. Very simple answer, and I was so amazed with the answer. But Bernie mentioned, if your children will know how to clean up after using the, the restroom toilet, because he doesn't want the next person to use that restroom to be Inconvenient. inconvenienced by that, whatever that, he is already being patriotic because he's thinking about the people already. Very, and very simple, very that simple. One. Yeah. Actually, and that can that that kind of a uh, virtue can actually be can start from. The house. The house, yes. yes. Yeah. I, I, I notice uh, in, I mean, <laughs> for, for uh, places that actually practice this virtue, inside the bathroom, mm -hmm. the toilet paper is folded with a sharp tip, right? Yes, yeah. true. So okay, that it's yes. easy for the, the next, next user to pull, to pull. Yeah. not to look for where that end is. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> it might fall down and roll uh -huh, on the uh -huh. floor. No? So even that. That's is, that. Uh, that it's an exercise of love for neighbor, right? And, yeah. and then the, hopefully that will be inculcated in the, in the, in the child and it, he grows up with that. And then it will mature into love for country. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm so glad that uh, there, there is such a thing as Ed the Child. <laughs> so, so happy that you guys are here. But uh, unfortunately, we're running out of time. So I like the remaining time. Uh, we have uh, something like four minutes left, right? I like the remaining time for you to say something about, you know, for our viewers, if they're interested in getting involved in Edu Child, what can they expect, and what are the schedules, and who to contact? You know? Maybe I need to hear from both of you. Yeah, for now we have um, a few courses. Now the the main course we had years years if years ago, what we call the basic parenting course. That's what uh, we experienced when we were participants. It's a 10 module course, but each module will be discussed mm -hmm. twice in one in two weeks. That's 20 weeks. Okay. So for now, we are not offering that anymore, but what we have now is what we call the first steps. It's a 10 module course. We do it in 10 weeks, okay. sometimes successive weeks. We do it, we have one scheduled on the third week of January. It's an open first steps course, meaning 
we invite everyone. Everyone is interested. We say yeah, when you say first steps, of course you're referring to toddlers. No, this this course is basically designed for parents with children below Under, seven years old. Yeah, okay. Seven yeah. years old. Okay. Because that's the because what we learn from the past that uh, children from birth to seven, even five, that's the, they're the most receptive. That's the, children. That's the perfect yeah, time perfect to inculcate time. Golden the, age. Uh, yeah. the golden age. Absorb golden and age absorb all the positive. As they say, uh, the, <laughs> the golden age ends on the fifth year, and they call it the stone age because they'll be starting to be <laughs> hard headed already. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one okay. of our first steps. Yes. We, we're, we're starting, I think, the third week of uh, January. And then we have this Bisaya Ed Child. It's a six module course. Yes. It's in the dialect, Bisaya. And then we have been offering this to um, churches, schools, for parents. Uh, we had a run of this one in Sait, in Talamban. We had yeah. one run also in Milanilia, Parish. So, well, it's, it's a challenge for us because the dialect is quite hard to <laughs> impart, <laughs> sure but we're doing that. Yeah. We do that. Uh, I mean, how did they get in touch with you and give us an idea of the cost involved? Because, you know, um, just for our viewers, no, they might be well, this curious. We, as I mentioned, the first steps we are offering on January is an open course, so meaning we will be the ones to organize everything, the venues, the materials and everything, even the food preparation. This is more expensive, the open one because we have to charge full, because the, it has to cover everything. Right. But we also have this, what we call, closed courses, okay. like in what we did in Minerilia and in Site. They're the ones who take care of everything, the food, the venue, the materials and everything. Mm, just it comes out cheaper because they only, they only pay like for our gasoline allowance. For so it's like a partnership between yeah. the something like that. participants and we, the We don't oh. intend to earn from this. <laughs> <laughs> this is, of course, yeah. a non-profit. Non-profit yeah, yeah, organization, yeah. yes. So we are also in partner. Uh, we are also in partner with um, the Parv schools here in Cebu. We, the Parv schools, have invited Elchal into their um, schools to conduct parenting courses. Well, we'll be plugging the the contact details in the screen, and mm -hmm. uh, but they can actually also Google it, right? And we have a website. Yeah, we have a website for BID. For that's another course, okay. BID. So the, the course that we offer in Parks exclusively for Parks schools is what we call NPEP, New Parents Educational Program. But this is tailored, it's tailor made for Parks. Preschool, for the preschool parents? So for new students of Parks, not just the preschool. All right. And then we have also this Beyond I Do, BID. It's, this one is not a parenting course. This one talks about marriage because uh, to be a parent, before you become a parent, you should be a spouse first. So you have to take care about your marriage first before mm -hmm. becoming a parent. So this is just a weekend so seminar. This, this is uh, yeah. uh, more manageable, right? More manageable. Time-wise. Yes. Time. Two nights. Two nights. And, Three days uh, and two nights. It's, what, what makes it different from other marriage encounter uh, or programs? Uh, actually, I cannot compare because I have not attended any, but any, okay, any, okay. any other course. But um, for those who have attended, we got feedback, and then they mentioned to us that um, there's no sharing here. Uh -huh. yeah? we'll just, um, we're just uh, there to learn the differences between man and woman, yeah? the little things about mm -hmm. marriage. So it's uh, educating communication. It's, educa it's educating. more of education. Educating them about the differences between uh, the husband and the husband wife. And wife. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and I understand communication, right? Yes. How yes. And we teach them some skills of communication. So mm -hmm. then. Yes. And then the third part of the seminar is giving pra more practical tips to keep the love alive. Oh. That. <laughs> it's a wonderful weekend seminar. When is this happening? Uh, do you have anything? We generally have them scheduled on the month of July. So maybe end of July or early August of 2013. Oops. Okay, will this be um, in the websites? Yes. Uh, yes, it okay. will be in the websites. So it's still, it's still uh, Edo Child website? We have uh, a website for Edo Child for nationwide. Nationwide. And then we have links to our, to our, so our the schedules. Yes. schedules. 
Jaja and uh, Lime, I'm afraid we run out of time. Yeah. This is a very interesting, I'm sure a lot of parents are, are you know, a lot of couples are looking at this uh, because there's a lot of benefit that they can mm -hmm. get out of this. But we have to end, sorry. <laughs> uh, we are now, um, we're looking forward for you to look at uh, the websites and get in touch with Lime and Jaja. We're very happy to have them in our, in our show. And uh, this is your host, George of Escobal. We are happy to have brought you a perspective of the wealth of our families. So see you next time and we look forward to you learning more from our shows. God bless. <laughs>